Hello, I am David W. Parker. This is Programming Today. I learned WebGL series episode 7, 70, excuse me, and we're going to be looking at picking objects. We're still sticking with the object theme for a little bit more, and this time we're going to look at picking. Um, as you've seen in the previous picking episodes, this will be very similar, and we're just changing it to be with our object here. So we have cube as we've had before. This time we're adding a cell color for a selection. We're going to give it this singular red all the way down color um, and what we do is we're going to add a couple of methods here one for a set for reading uh, and one for a set for drawing um, when we're going to be reading that means we're going to be selecting an object we're going to just take the attributes for color and put it on as, as a backup and then we're going to take the selection color and set it as the color this allows us to not have any logic in our shader as before and then we're going to have a set for drawing which we're going to put the color back up on the color again um, scrolling down every, past everything, which is all the same as previous episodes. Uh, just like before, basically what we're going to do is we're going to set up our cube now, though, and set it for the reading, draw it. Once we draw it, we're going to go ahead and grab the pixels. We know for a fact that pixels, the first element is going to be 255 for that red value, and then we're going to set for drawing and draw it again. This allows us to have our cube as here, and you can see that we are currently selecting the red color, and we know for a fact that is the cube that we have. Um, so that's it for this episode, nice and short. Uh, if you like what you saw, please like this video. Subscribe on YouTube. Both of those will help me a lot. Share on social media, if you will. Go to programtil.com and sign up for my newsletter, as well as on Twitter. You may follow me. Have a great one.